this is where I could save a lot of time. Hopefully. Okay, that that's fine. Missing missing that trigger is fine. Because I did waste a bomb earlier. Dude, that's that. I lost probably more time than my, than how much time I lost there in my PB. That was so awful. God, I'm looking at my timer right now. I'm gonna have a really, really bad split time. <sighs> Dude, I can't believe it. I'm gonna get a, another poverty PB at this point if I keep playing like this. So awful. Jeez. That's disappointing. That is horribly disappointing. I think I know what I did wrong too, like... I, I, I felt like I was one pixel off on the second hit. It's kind of crazy that like I've gotten really good at this category, and my current some best shows that I have like so much potential. Since the last time I ran since the last time I, I ran this. All right, so um, I have news for y'all, and that is that uh, this week is the start of a new schedule for from I have a new schedule for work. Uh, which guar which my new schedule guarantees that I'm not working on certain days uh, throughout the week. Uh, today being one of them, so I will be able to stream a little more consistently now, which is good uh, because I've been wanting to stream more consistently, and well, <laughs> work hasn't really been letting me, but now I can, and then I'll have a more 
decent schedule in about a few weeks from now. Other news is uh, some people may have already caught on, but I am not in the LADX tournament anymore because I got eliminated. So reflecting on the tournament, I'd say this is probably the worst tournament that I have been in. Um, as far as performance goes, like, I have played my worst in the LADX tournament this, uh, this time around. Um, and it's not anybody's fault that I played bad. It's not because I, I was paired up against people that I, w I had similar PVs with. Well, and I, I was matched up with every person that had similar times than me, or similar times as me. Um, and out of all those matches, I played like shit. My other problem is, I basically came to the conclusion that I don't really like Swiss. I don't like Swiss format in tournaments. It's really, really confusing, and you get paired up with people that you don't even know. You don't even know who you're gonna get paired up with until, uh, the, until the next round opens, pretty much. And that's what I don't like about, about Swiss. I like to be able to know in advance who I'm going against. So that way I can, like, prepare myself, right? But Swiss does not give you that option. So, in conclusion, I have decided I'm not going to join any more LADX tournaments until they change to a new format for, this, for future tournaments. There's going to be an LAS tournament coming up, but I'm not joining it because it's any percent. Okay. Wasn't even worth it. Uh, it was a nice run, but I, f I fucked up this, um, here, now. Garbage. Dude. Uh, I, it's not picking up the mic, I don't think, but holy crap. Um, the TV in the other room is so freaking loud. And normally I'm not even supposed to hear any outside noise through my headset, but I can't hear that TV. That's how loud it is. Really? mad. God damn it, that's so bullshit. God, now, now I have to do a slower strat in D8 now. Oh my god, that's so bullshit. this oh n it didn't even matter probably not looking at this pace because I don't have enough bombs. Because I have to use two more for the trigger, which would leave me at two more bombs. And then I need those two bombs in order to do the tr the bomb trigger for the Nightmare Tex. Uh, which means that um, in order for me to actually do Manip without, without the bomb, 
is by getting a is getting good sword RNG, which is something I don't want to do. Okay, well I got a good hot head. Okay, well maybe I have a chance. Cause that, that hot head made, definitely made up the time that I spent getting the stock room. Are you serious? Are you serious? <sighs> oh my god, did, did did I get it? Did I do it? Did I do it? Oh my god, 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 oh my god. I'm a legend! Come on! I'm a freaking legend! I'm 4,000 IQ! <laughs> I calculated the odds! I could have PB! <laughs> Oh my god. See, if I YOLO'd, this would've been PB. If I YOLO'd and got everything by YOLOing, I would've PB'd. Don't know anything about this game? Okay, well, I'll, I will tell you the basics. Uh, so, it's Link's Awakening, the fourth Zelda game. And, um, uh, the first couple minutes of the run is pretty reset heavy, somewhat. It's, uh, it's not really that bad in, in this one. Uh, in other categories, it's pretty bad. I'm running 80% no woob and no save and quit. Which basically means that every entrance, every, every transition has to lead to where the game's supposed to take me to. And then for out of bounds, well, obviously I gotta be walking on every accessible, uh, Part of the game. I can't be like one tile into a wall or anything like that. And then no save and quit is exactly what it sounds like. I cannot save and quit. Um, when you save and quit, it takes you to the last place that you came from, which does save time, but for the purpose of this category, not, I cannot do that. Procrastinating? I think I'm kind of doing the same thing, even though the next four assignments that I need to get done are not even due till Sunday. The way the class works for me is, um, we're pretty much on our own. Like, you know, obviously, like, all of our classes are online and whatnot, um, but, um, the way it works for us is that we're, we don't go to, like, any like online lecture or whatever like we don't use we, our class does not use zoom or whatever that program is called that everybody's using which is nice because i don't have to install a program that i have no idea how to use so we're completely on our own as far as when to get stuff done when to actually look into lessons but then also the problem is is that because we're on our own we don't have, like, the resource, you know, if we don't understand something. I mean, I guess we could always email the professor if there's something that we don't understand. So there's that option. But then, like, the professor's not, like, always there, you know what I mean. 
Oh, what? No one ever messes up that. That is the easiest room to do in the game, and I messed it up. Please unfollow, unsubscribe, and report me to Twitch admins. I'm kidding. You don't have to. That's just- that's my- that's my way of saying I'm bad at this game. You know, that's probably not true for like, compared to like, a hundred people who have times on the leaderboard. Like, my current PB is bad. Right now. Like, I haven't been got a- I haven't gotten a good PB since I- I came back to this category. If there's anything, ever since I came back to this category, I'm somehow like, not phased by time losses as much as when I grinded out no woo. I think part of it is because I actually is that I like this category more. Um, alright, that's one way to avoid getting hit there. How strategic! Y'all better be proud of me for doing strategic bonks. <laughs> Still top 20. Wait, with this time? I... Uh... That might be right. In no whoop, that's definitely under top. In no whoop, that's definitely under top twenty. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. I I thought for some reason because there's definitely more times on no seven quit, so I wasn't actually sure. Oh man, you know what the crazy thing? Okay, anyone who has not really followed up with the community behind uh, Link's Awakening, uh, hold on, let me let me let me let me show this off. Okay, so, for some reason, they decided to put this up front, and if you compare this, like, there's 52 times on this category right here, and then if you compare it with this right here, there is significantly more runs right here. Twice, more than twice the, the amount of runs of this category than uh, no boob. Because, uh, for a very long time, this category right here was, uh, no saving quit. It used- it was, like, the main- it was the main category, uh, for a pretty long time. Uh, like, if this was- like, if you were getting into the run, like, if you were getting into this game speedrun, this would be the first category that you would- that- that anybody would learn. Um, because it's really easy to learn it, and it's very basic, everybody knows it, anybody who watches Link's Awakening speedruns would know it. And then, years pass, and then newer runners came, came to be. It was probably around 2019, where uh, people have, where the activity of no Oob started to increase. Um, and even, even then, there were still significantly less people running no Woob actively, and um, people were still some other people were still running no seven quit, and that was fine. And then, at a very recently, they have decided to well, they made like some poll of like, hey, which one should be the the default? Which one should be the new default category? Because no Woob has seen more activity. No seven quit hasn't had very much activity. Well, people, majority of them said no, no woo. And then this is the results right here. And I don't really like it, even though it doesn't really matter. It shouldn't, it, it shouldn't even matter in the first place because when you go onto the leaderboard, you're going to check it the same exact way every single time. It's just that they're in different orders now, uh, but you're still going to check it the same exact way. Like if I were to just, uh, go to the default link of the leaderboard, like, right now. Like, okay, yeah, no move is right here. And then if I want to look at the no save and quit times, I'll just go here. Alright, no problem. Uh, but... It still kind of bothers me that this is now up front, when... Significantly less people run this. See, Bass, are you still playing in the tourney? Oh, you lost every match? Dang. I guess you could say the same thing for me, I lost all my matches. Considering I had decent chances at winning all of them, I d and I blew them all. Dude, that's how I felt two years ago. The hundred that, that 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 we had two years ago, I was um, behind everybody, and I played I played the heck out, out of out of this game two years ago because I had like a 146, which was easily last place compared to everybody's uh, times, uh, at least everybody that were in the tournament.
And so I have to really work work my way up in order to keep up with everybody. And um, I went from a 146 to 126. So it was a really huge improvement a few years ago. And then obviously come in here where we're doing when we decided to do Hundo again. I wasn't really expecting much at all. But then there were newer players who were just rising up and it was kind of putting a lot of pressure on me. I guess that's I guess that's probably why I played like crap. All that pressure of like all these people who were entering the tournament with like 124s and then suddenly before the tournament even started, they get sub 120s all quicker than I than I did and it was just putting I just felt extremely pressured. That's that's good that you that you had fun. Having fun is definitely important. As long as you enjoyed yourself. I, I really should have focused more on my own, which is what I did two years ago. I was focusing more on my own to see if I could maybe keep up with any with everybody. I guess that's what it felt like this time. I, I felt like I was I had to force myself to keep up with everyone. I knew that if I didn't try hard enough, then they were gonna destroy me. And then, well, I got destroyed anyway. One to two years ago? Really? What was I playing one to two years ago? I'm familiar? Where do you think I'm familiar from? 3D Mario. I wasn't, I don't, I don't think I was playing any 3D Mario one to two years ago. Unless you're, unless you're thinking about my, um, YouTube stuff. <sighs> Hello? Dude, are you serious? That was the worst stealing ever. I lost like a million years on the split. Galaxy and Mario 64. Oh, that was oh, that was like 2017 stuff right there. But that that's that's cool that people still know me from back when I used to run those games. Those were the good old days when I used to run them. I don't know if I plan to run them again in the um, in the future. I don't know. Maybe I might try my try my hand at Galaxy again, but uh, because a lot has changed in Galaxy. But I don't know. At the same time, Galaxy is really long, and I don't really have that commitment to run to grind a long category like that. Why is NGR a um, a held message on my chat? That's so weird. Does somebody ban NGR on my chat? That must that because I do I have not ever banned NGR ever. That's funny. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. That was so good. This ha this this has to be gold pace. Oh yes. <laughs> except I need except I'm gonna be losing time later because I need to kill extra enemies. Yes! Fuck yes! Oh my god, I'm gonna gold with stock room. <laughs> what a meme. I golded even though I had to go to the stock room.
dog. Honestly. That's so dumb. Dude, Minip Minip is fake. I I I it just makes no sense. It's completely fake. Minip does not exist. I got four freaking blue balls on a freaking good run. <sighs> Unbelievable. Um I ran two only twice though. I don't really like Galaxy 2 as a speedrun. But I did ran all the 3D Marios at at one point, one or another, one way or, or another, uh, except for Odyssey. Um, exclamation mark, TV. <gasps> oh my god! Yes, a lot. I don't know. If I get a PB and I play well, then I'm satisfied. Um, but right now, I'm not playing well. So if I PB, then I'm gonna keep going, because this run sucks. I want more than a sub-55, because I'm more than capable of getting that. But right now, I'm in a very difficult position to achieve that in this attempt. I did. I uh, already placed my pre-order for uh, 3D All-Stars, because I'm pretty excited for it. 3D World also got announced, but I'm not getting it. I'm not spending $60 on a game I already have. And then I might get the Mario Mario Bros. Uh, game where there's like 99 players. I'm not like overly hyped about it, because they're games that I, I already have and played. But yes, I am looking forward to try to seeing what the differences are in the enhanced versions of the games. Kind of strange that they did not add um, Galaxy 2 on it. I guess Galaxy 2 like mechanically is similar to Galaxy 1, so they decided not to. But then that's weird because um, they added because Lost Levels is like that with SMB, and yet they added SMB with the pack for uh, original Mario All-Stars anyway, so what's the logic, please? Oh yeah, the SMB Game & Watch. I don't think I've- uh, yeah, I've never actually owned a Game & Watch before. So I don't know what those are like. That- but- but it looks really cool. I saw it. Oh, oh wait, 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 there's one- there's- there is one thing that they did announce that I forgot. Uh, regular Mario, Mario All-Stars. Um, I made a prediction to the guys in my server like, oh, they're probably going to release a version that's called Mario 3D All-Stars plus SMG2 uh, because that's exactly what they did with um, Mario World for All-Stars and where they released a Mario All-Stars game that included Mario World in it and that version had like literally no differences except for different flying mechanics for some reason. So my prediction is that they're gonna release a Mario 3D All-Stars that just that, that includes Galaxy 2 in it, and they're gonna call it Mario 3D All-Stars plus Galaxy 2, and then make people spend an extra 60 bucks just to include Galaxy 2 on it, and it's not gonna have any um, differences in Galaxy 2 whatsoever. That's, go that's gonna be what's gonna happen. I'm actually like, most curious on um, on uh, figuring out like what they're gonna be doing with uh, Sunshine especially because um, with Sunshine the hover mechanic you do like half R presses in order to move while using the hover nozzle and you cannot do that with a regular um, Pro controller no that's that's that that is extremely bizarre yeah but not very many people are going to do that like yes the 
GameCube controller is compatible for Switch. A lot of people are going to be using Joy-Cons or Pro controllers for um, Switch. Those don't have like half R presses at all. And also keep in mind, not a lot of people even grew up with a GameCube at all. Or, or, or some people in this era of video games haven't grown up with a GameCube. So they probably don't even have like, they probably don't even have access to GameCube controllers anyway. Consider that. Galaxy, I'm really curious about what they're gonna do, because, um, there's no sensor bar for the Switch, so how are you gonna pick up star bits at all? Like, I can already imagine- I, I already- I can already see what they're gonna do with, like, the motion controls. Like, you can shake the controller to do your spins and whatnot, and, like, controlling the manta ray, the ball. But, how are they go- how are you going to collect star bits? Like, that's very important. It's just fig it's figuring out how you're going to get star bits. <laughs> I, I, I suck. I, uh, I officially suck. Cursor on the screen to enter your controller to move it around. I mean, uh, I guess that could work. I just hope they don't make SMG um, Joy-Con only. Because if they do that, then fuck. I gotta get a new pair of Joy-Cons that I'm not willing to spend $80 on. I, I like using Joy-Cons, but my only problem with Joy-Cons is that it's they're really small. My hands are pretty huge. Even the controller that I'm using right now is pretty small compared to my hands. So it's like I like having to having to grip onto this controller for a long period of time hurts my hands. Which is the main reason why Well, it's one of the main reasons why grinding this game for a long period of time hurts my hands. I have to constantly grip onto this controller for like if I'm gonna play this game for like four hours a day or something like that. And then on top of that, I have to press so many buttons in this game. Like, I have, I have to always be pressing buttons in this game. There's no downtime. Almost no downtime. I think I'm not trying to get another Pro Controller, because at my workplace, there's Pro Controllers on stock for, like, $20. But, like, those are wired controllers. And I don't know how long... I don't exactly know how long uh, the cables are for those controllers. Because, like, I have this, this Switch docked. Very, very far away from where I sit, um, if I'm going to, um, use my, uh, when, whenever, like, I play on my Switch. So, it may or may not be long enough for me to use, to actually use those controllers. On top of that, I also hear that those are not actually, um, like, they don't support motion controls or vibrations, which is a problem. A lot of Switch games have motion controls, so that can be a problem. So, uh, about a few days ago, and by a few days ago, it's it was Sunday, I had, I experienced my very first time going to Panda Express. Um, it sounds crazy. I told my coworkers that, oh yeah, this is my first time going to Panda Express. They got so surprised because, like, you know, Panda Express is so popular and very well known. Yes, it is, it is a restaurant. They serve Chinese food. Anyway, back to my story. So I try. I went there for my very, very first time during lunch break. So I was. I had my expectations pretty high because everybody seems to hype it up. So I got my expectations high. I ordered orange chicken, broccoli beef, and chow mein. Uh, so ten dollar meal. I got my food from Hannah Express. It was a takeout order because I was on lunch break and I'm going to eat at my workplace. Came back to work. Went to the break room, and I had my first taste at all of the above. And with all my expectations really high up, uh, looking forward to seeing why everybody hypes it up, tried it, and 
I wasn't impressed. Now, I've had Chinese food for like most of my life. So if I wanted Chinese food, quality Chinese food, I'd rather go somewhere else. Like Panda Express wasn't bad or anything like that. Like I kind of liked it. It's just, I'd rather go someplace else for decent quality. So another part of the story is that uh, one of my coworkers also wanted Panda Express. So, uh, so a part of my order was also for her. And so she likes it. She said she'll pay me back, which is great, but I also don't expect her to pay me back because I voluntarily asked her what she wanted for lunch. So then I came home and then I texted uh, my friend Michelle about all about my first experience at Panda Express. And then I also told her about <laughs> like my coworker want also wanted Panda Express for lunch and uh, and that she like she really likes it. And uh, the funny part was that Michelle's ex response was, "Oh, I feel bad for her. You should take her to get decent Chinese food." And it was I was I was just laughing because I'm pretty sure my coworker that I got Panda Express for has probably had decent Chinese food, but like, Panda Express just happened to be in the same plaza as my workplace. And I'm not gonna go leave the plaza during my lunch break just to get decent Chinese food. If you're looking for quality Chinese food, you should go to places like, well, they're probably not in your area, but in my area we got places like New Lai Wa, Kao. Those places have quality Chinese food.